Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to the Naval Academy, where we've gotten to sink the Raiders. Three heavy cruisers are threatening two of our transports. Um, can try and deal with them uh, using my own cruisers or a semi-dreadnought. Um, and uh, we'll see. So we're going to go for... I'm going to go for firepower on this one, I think. So I can either go with the Battleship 3... Or an armored cruise four. Uh, I'll probably go for the battleship, to be honest. Um, five battleships, because you know we do have access to some interesting guns. So we've got thirteens. We should make pretty quick work of any enemy cruisers. Uh, gonna go for the best towers I can. In terms of funnels. Mm. We just two of the basic ones. Yep. That will do just fine. But if we go for an induced multiple expansion engine, we can get this thing up to 22.6 knots, which should be capable of catching up to enemy cruisers and the like. Casements. Three inch, probably not worth it in this mission. I mean, we are talking about a, uh, a heavy cruiser. Um, probably go main guns only. And maybe some torpedoes in case they happen to uh, come nice and close. Weight offset isn't bad either. Could bring a, a petrol engine, but I'm not going to do that. Now, in terms of protection, this thing is pretty heavily protected already. Um, we'll stick with the TNT. And we'll go for the white powder. Heavy shells. Go for ash. No, let's go for a standard tool. Uh, probably don't need too much in terms of extra protection. Um, I would like to get the flash fire chance down though. Uh, which that doesn't. What was that? So we're going to want to bring some additional bulkheads. Now I think probably. Two of these will be okay. So we go max bulkheads. Um, deck is way too much. Uh, Ten inches of armor should be okay. We'll just increase the fore and aft a little bit. Oh, I can go all the way up to Crook 2. That saves a lot of weight. Um, and it drastically improves the armor. Should be pretty much invulnerable to cruisers. Depending on how advanced they are, of course. Uh, and then... I think reduce displacement. I can always increase it again. Save money. It'll also increase my engine efficiency, so I can increase speed as well. Should mean that they're going to find it hard to escape. There we go. And then I'm going to spend the rest on crew. I would like two of these, though. There we go. Train crew. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it will. Uh... 
yeah, 2v3. Then we've got the two transports. Right. Let's get in there with uh, Truxton and Kissage. Just uh, kind of push, push the enemy away as much as I can. From the transports, which are retreating. Let's go have a look at them. Oh my! It's almost like a battle cruiser. No design. Got our first hit. Bum, 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 bum. Kind of need an ID. So, 8 inch guns, 27.9 knots. I'm glad I uh, glad I invested in the speed then. Wouldn't have a hope otherwise. But uh, as I predicted, we can do pretty big damage to them. And a torpedo will make them think twice. Three hits, blew off an eight inch gun to boot. Come on, do that again. Oh no, that was terrible cross eyed rubbish. Oh, that wasn't. Well done, Kisash. The uh, Shanxi is uh, suffering a little bit. They have torpedoes. No, they don't. Okay, so we can close to knife range if we want to. Fire and flooding. Tell you what, if you've got a torpedo, you can use it. Kisash. About turn. Right, torpedo away. Kind of hope that hits, but uh, it might not. Hit. I missed again. It's like they're preemptively dodging that I was going in for a torpedo hit. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Sink, stupid maximum bulkheads. Need you turned around. Torpedoes at the ready, please. Fire and blooding. Thank you. For the torpedo. 
<laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. They must have different classes, because I wasn't expecting them to fire a torpedo at me. Yeah, they did. Rude. Oh well, I have plenty more. Oh, you little shit. I'm going to get you in return, though. Oof. That thing, the Xinjiang. Nasty little customer. But all of them are pretty damaged now. That's very, very good. Truxton just going to have to mix it up a bit. Beautiful. Beautiful torpedo hit. Good stuff. Main gun. God damn. Put a torpedo away. These things are tough. There's no point in avoiding. Come on, Truxton. Please survive. Ow. Flash fire. Two flash fires. And a torpedo. That will learn yet. Probably still won't sink because the AI is bullshit when it comes to that sort of thing. Another torpedo hit. Come on, sink. Sink! I know, they are very Jackie Fisher-esque designs, aren't they? Poor Truxton's dead in the water. Immediately miss with a torpedo. Nothing much that Truxton can do about that. Damn. Just <laughs> putting down those cruisers. They've all got really high bulkheads, so they're really difficult to actually sink. Shit. Need 
need that one gone. This is the one with the torpedoes. Thank you. Keep saying I'm losing torpedoes. I don't know which launcher it is. It's a bit of an issue. Okay, if you, Fujian sinks, come on, Kisaj, you can do it. Believe in you. then you immediately miss gods good hits you have to sink it probably not oh no yep yeah, we did it ah there we go well there we go, that's the first list of the Naval Academy done. Uh, next uh, will be the undefended convoy attack, uh, which means we're into battlecruiser territory. Hooray! <laughs> uh, and then, you know, dreadnoughts are in sight, which means we don't have to worry about pre-dreadnoughts anymore, which is the best kind of win. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.